Good afternoon, and thank you for connecting for this weekly check-in and a poem, a song, and a prayer. In news updates, our cathedral website is now up and running. We had had some technical issues over the weekend, and the company that hosts our site was working hard to remedy them, and so this afternoon we came back online. So we apologize for that disconnection. We are continuing to prepare for the hoped for entering into phase five of our provincial COVID recover, recovery plan scheduled for September 15th. We've also received some correspondence from Dr. Strang this week and our bishop with things to consider for faith groups and volunteer organizations in anticipation of reopening. Much remains in flux, but we do hope to welcome people back for events and for Sunday school following the successful transition into phase five. So fingers crossed that indeed it all goes on schedule for the 15th. We'll be sending out information as soon as we have some definitive plans for you. In addition to our 10 a.m. Sunday service in person, a reminder of our Eucharist services Wednesday mornings at 7.30 a.m. and Fridays noon here in our cathedral. This Sunday and throughout the month of September, the cathedral's labyrinth will be returning to Victoria Park across from our cathedral. And that will be on display and usable from noon until two, weather permitting on Sunday afternoons. Hosted by Heather Carter, this is a great way to gather safely under the shade in the park, take part in the ancient prayerful meditative practice of walking a labyrinth. Untangle your mind, find your center and refresh your soul. It is also fun and instructive for children, so bring your family. Speaking of meditation, the online meditation group that meets Thursday evenings is taking a few weeks holiday, but will be returning soon, so we'll keep you posted on that. You can also continue to find an offering of morning prayer Monday through Thursdays on our Facebook and YouTube channels online. Now today, as a source of inspiration, I pass on to you an interesting story that made national news this past week that comes from right here in Nova Scotia. And the story involves a man by the name of Gerald Atkinson, who is 90 years of age and did something many people only dream of. Well, actually, he did it three times. While golf golfing in, of all places, Paradise, Nova Scotia, which is a small town east of Annap Annapolis Royal in the valley, at a golf course named Eden, Eden, Paradise, Mr. Atkinson sunk a hole in one. Now statistically, the odds of hitting a hole in one is a staggering 12,500 to one. So while congratulations are in order, just hold on for a moment, because Mr. Atkinson had done the same thing three weeks earlier. A hole in one in July and a hole in one in August. And if that isn't amazing enough, 10 years ago at the age of 80, he also hit a hole in one. On September 13th, Gerald Atkinson will celebrate his 91st birthday and shows no sign of slowing down. Now that story brought a song to mind that in many ways is topical on another level. The issue of homelessness has been accentuated throughout this pandemic. And the city of Halifax last night debated ways to address this reality in our community. It is also making news in the federal election campaigns as the rising concern for affordable housing puts more and more lives in jeopardy. The reference to Mr. Atkinson being in Paradise reminded me of a song, Paradise, written by Phil Collins. There's also one by the same name, written by John Prine. Phil Collins, a singer-songwriter who starred, started professionally as a drummer for the English rock band Genesis, wrote this song in 1989. It appeared on his album titled, But Seriously. From Wikipedia, we read the origin of the song. Colin sings the song from a third person perspective as he observes a man crossing the street to ignore a homeless woman. And he implores listeners not to turn a blind eye to homelessness because by drawing a religious illusion, quote, 
it's just another day for you and me in paradise. Collins also appeals directly to God by singing, O Lord, is there nothing more anybody can do? It was Collins' last number one billboard hit of the 1980s and the first number one hit of the 90s. Now, while some criticized his condemnation of the plight of the homeless as hypocritical, while he himself lived in great affluence, others pointed to the success of the song as keeping the issue in the forefront and noted also Collins' many charitable contributions as evidence that this was not simply an exploitation of a hot button topic. So give a listen to a song called Another Day in Paradise by Phil Collins. And for a poem, here's one by Jack Gilmets. Jack Gilmets was born in New York City in 1951 and began writing poetry or haiku in particular in 1999. In 2005, he was selected as one of the featured poets for an anthology titled A New Resonance, Emerging Voices in English Language Haiku. In 2006, he was awarded the Jinyu Prize for the most accomplished books of haiku by the World Haiku Association for his first two collections, A New Hand and Driftwood. He has also been named a contributing editor at Roadrunner Haiku Journal. So here is his poem titled, Homeless. The voice has no home, seeks refuge in the ear of another one. The poet Jack Gilmets. And in closing, here is a prayer offered by Rabbi Andrea Goldstein of the congregation Sheremeth in St. Louis, Missouri. Let us pray. Dear God, watch over your children, especially those with no homes to return to at the end of long and weary days. Protect them from all harm and keep them from despair. Open the hearts and eyes of those of us with blessings to share. Unite our voices in a call for justice so that no man need ever lay down for the night on a park bench because he has no home. So that no woman need ever tuck her children into the back seat of her car because she has no home. So that no children need to ever wonder where will I feel safe because they have no home. So that all those who wander and all who are in need may find the shelter and peace they seek. Remind us, O God, that we cannot rest fully secure in our own homes until all your children are at last home. Amen. Keep in touch, stay safe, and keep the faith until we meet again.